it going? We are going to Fish Lake. So out of all the lakes that we announced that we were going to try to hit this year, I've had more people ask me about Fish Lake than any of the rest. So we're excited. We're not just going down for a quick trip. We're going to spend a couple days down there, see if we can find some kokanee, maybe even some max. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But I've, I've never been to Fish Lake before, so this is a first. It's a new lake. I've had a few people give me some tips on areas to try and things to try, so really appreciate everyone who's reached out and helped with that. Um, what do you think, Dallin? You excited? Yep. So we are excited. We've got Dallin with me, and then Juan is meeting us down there. So it'll be the trio of us uh, down at Fish Lake here for the weekend. So here we are, we made it to Fish Lake. We've got Juan here, Dallin. There he is. It's the evening, we got here a little bit earlier than expected, so we're gonna go out for an hour or two, see what we can find. It's absolutely gorgeous tonight. Yeah, it was kokanee. Oh, yeah. It was it was like a 12 inch kokanee. Yeah, I saw it. Cutthroat. So. I hope people have a cutthroat problem on this lake. Yeah. Might have a rainbow problem. Or a big rainbow. Yeah, that's right. First fish? Yeah, that was, that was a big one. Good fish. The one it hit, yeah. Oh, look at the jump. This one needs to go bye bye. Is it, is it a coke? Yeah, but it's tiny. Whoop. Okay, good job. Okay, yeah. so there's three little cokes. Now we've got a good size one, hopefully. Well, oh, yeah, that fish hit hard. Yeah. That hit it hard. That's a big fish. Yep, it is. I saw it jump. It's head shaking. That's a pushing three. Good fighting rainbow. Oh my gosh, I can't even see. It's so bright. So as you watch these next two fish that we bring in, you'll notice that I'm using the cycling mode on my downrigger. This can be very effective for triggering the strike. As you watch this one, the downrigger goes down, and right as it hits the bottom, that's when the fish hits. So it actually hit as it was going through that cycle. To okay, not this one down. This is a, a little bit bigger. Token. A little bit bigger. Oh yeah, that's a keeper. Yeah. He jumped right into the net. Is it a rainbow? Nope, it's a rainbow. Rainbow. For this next fish, you'll also notice that the fish hit as the downrigger was cycling. Where are you doing? 
coconut for dinner on? Hey, yeah, no, that's a good one. Well, yeah, it's a small guy, but if we'll we keep, if we keep like two or three of these, we can yeah. for dinner. Let's go. First coke in the boat. Fish Lake off the list. <laughs> All right, so this is the first coke that we put in the boat. Landing. We've had four other ones on. They've all been about this size, so we just let them get off as they were getting close. But I think we're gonna have some kokanee for dinner, so we're gonna see if we can get a couple of these guys. Okay, turn on the light off. It is absolutely stunning, though, up here. Food? You, you got us food, Dad? Dinner. Company number two. Yep. It's a coke. Ooh, that's the biggest one. Oh, wait. Oh yeah, no, it's a coke. It's a coke. Both times they came off right in the net. Dinner. Do you really need to hold it? You're gonna drop it. You're gonna drop it. Dinner, right there. I told you you were going to drop it. Okay, Dallin, how did night one officially go for us? Pretty good. Um, we caught a lot of rainbows and kokanee. How many did we end up with? Eight? So we ended up with eight kokanee. They, and were, we all, they were all smaller tonight. Three of them we kept for dinner. The rest of them we let go. Yep. And we caught a few big rainbows. Yep. Some good fighting rainbows. But we've only been out here for, what, two, three hours? Yeah, yeah. So. Beautiful night. All right, this is our first morning out here at Fish Lake. Dallin, how did our launch go this morning? One of the straps on the back was still on and my dad went swimming today. I gotta go swimming a little bit, so I always have a routine how I always do stuff, um, but when I'm camping, sometimes things get thrown off and I learned a valuable lesson this morning. Um, always follow that routine no matter where you're at. So what ended up happening is when we pulled the boat out in the dark last night, only one of the straps on the back of the trailer got put on. I didn't even see that any of them got put on. So when we went to launch this morning, I thought there wasn't a strap on the back and there was only one, which is actually worse than two because then all of a sudden one corner of your boat trailer hangs up and the whole boat goes sideways. And the only easy way to fix that this, this morning was for me to go to a swim in about chest deep water to undo that strap so learn from my mistake always follow your routine always make sure that you um, have have your boat straps off the back of the trailer it doesn't work very good to launch so um, beautiful morning though out here hopefully we'll catch some fish um, we had one bite already this morning but we'll see how it goes yep.
another fish on this. Another fish? Yeah. On the same rod again. This might be a cook dad. down how's this morning been caught like four kokanee and like two rainbows I think how's the size on the kokanee been so far they've been kind of small so we've tried to release all of them so tell tell us about small kokanee can, can you release kokanee easy or how does that work so Really, if you touch them, you have to keep them because the water temperature is so high, they're fragile. So if they're next to the boat, you kind of just want to like shake them off while they're still on the line. But if they don't come off, you kind of have to keep them. Cause... Yeah, so, so these smaller kokanee, we're trying to let all the small ones go. Uh, but like Dallin said, the water temperature is warmer, um, so they are very fragile. You bring them up and if you touch them to try to get the hooks out, nine times out of ten they're they're not going to survive so mm -hmm. um we've been getting them close and, and like Dallin said just kind of just like flick your line just a little bit so you can get the hooks to pop out if you can't and you end up having to bring them in then that's a keeper fish coconut mm -hmm. are, are super super fragile they don't release like the trout do so if you get them in the boat and they're too small and they're not going to live just make sure you keep them and count them towards your limit yep This morning we were catching plenty of fish, we just weren't catching the big kokanee we were hoping to find. After a while we got frustrated and decided to start jigging for some lake trout. We were marking a bunch of fish on the bottom, got a few bites, but didn't get anything that hooked all the way up. The rest of our day went about the same. More fish, but nothing of any good size. That evening when we were bringing the boat back, we ran into two young men that were camping and fishing from shore. We invited them to join us the next morning to show them how to catch kokanee, and that's when our luck changed. Make sure you tune in to part two. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe and like button. Happy fishing and tight lines.